What's going on everybody? I'm Mark Vins, and I know a lot of you have been asking for more original content here on the Mark Vins YouTube channel. So today, here comes some original content. This is not content we released yet on Brave Wilderness. In fact, I'm out today filming B-roll pickup shots for the Tide Pool Aquarium episode that we did just off the coast here in New England. And one of the creatures I missed on the actual production day was any kind of fish. I could not find a fish at all. And lo and behold, I come out here to get a few B-roll shots and boom, this little pocket is absolutely full of fish. Hopefully I can catch one of these, but they are very fast, so wish me luck. Nope. Total whiff. They stop moving and they camouflage so well. There's one. Nope. Bit of a cat and mouse situation, folks. I thought this was gonna be easy. I like to sort of hide underneath these rocks. Maybe I can flush them out. Oh, I see a fish on a rock. I think this is a good spot. It's in deep water, so I can get my net down there. Did I get it? Oh, I got it. Oh, there we go. Got the fish. Awesome. Okay. I got to ID it, but redemption with the fish here in New England. Okay. So here we go. Got a little container. Throw in some water there. That's good. And here comes the fish. Whoop. All right. Let's get a close look at that fish. All right. Some of you are probably looking at this in all fairness and saying, Mark, that's a minnow, dude. Why should I be excited about a minnow? Well, as they say, one person's minnow is another person's elusive fish that evaded them yesterday. I would have really loved to have put this, what I believe is a killer fish species in the tide pool aquarium. And I'm just surprised that I couldn't find a single one yesterday, but lo and behold, the pool closest to the beach, the entry point to where we are is full of these cool little fish. Now, there's nothing really remarkable about this fish. Sorry, buddy. Um, pretty typical for a small fish. It's an opportunistic feeder. It feeds on things like small invertebrates, uh, snails, shrimp, and little tiny plankton, zooplankton, things like that would be good food for this animal. Uh, and they're opportunistic, so they will eat some algae and other plant materials as well. They're, they're definitely omnivores and they prefer tidal and marsh estuaries, places like rock pools that we're in right now. And it's really hard to identify these small species of fish. But yeah, we did it. We finally caught a fish here in New England, and I'm glad we're going home victorious. And I hope everybody enjoyed this uh, little but fun original piece of content. I'm Mark Vins, be brave, stay wild. We'll see you on the next original Mark Vins video. All right, let's let this little fish go.